Hello everyone and welcome to PC Tips Pro. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to recover permanently deleted files on a Windows PC. So the first step would be to just go to the recycle bin and then recover your file. But what really happens when you empty your recycle bin or use shift plus delete to permanently delete that? Will recovering that permanently deleted file still be possible? Well, yes, it is. And let me show you how. But before that, let's first understand what really happens when you delete a file on Windows. When you press the delete key, your file goes to the recycle bin and it's easy to restore. But when you use shift plus delete or empty the recycle bin, the file doesn't actually disappear. Instead, Windows marks that space as available for new data. And now until that space is overwritten, the file's data still exists on your drive. And that is what recovery tools target. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to recover that permanently deleted file using a recovery tool called Recuva. Now I'm going to provide the link to that in the description box. So kindly download it. Now once you're downloading that, install and launch Recuva. Recuva is one of the most beginner friendly and effective free options. So once you're done downloading that, just install and launch Recuva. And after that, just follow the Recuva wizard. And from here, you can select the file type which you want to recover. So just select your file type and then click on next. And then from here, choose where to search. For example, if you are not sure, you can search the whole computer by clicking on I'm not sure. Or if you've deleted your file from the recycle bin, then just select the recycle bin and click on next. Now here you can enable the deep scan for better results. It does take more time, but it is very effective. And here your scanning process will begin. So just wait for it. If you've enabled the deep scan, it could take a longer time. But if your file has been just recently deleted and you've not installed anything else after that, then you can also skip the deep scan and just click on start. But even after scanning it again and again, your file isn't showing, then you can go and click on the deep scan for better results. Once you're done with the recovery, here you can see your files. I can see my file right here. So I'll just click on that. And after selecting your file, just click on recover. And then from here, choose a folder where you would want your recover file to show. Now, here's an important tip. Never recover files to the same drive which you're scanning. That could override the very data which you're trying to get back. So let's just select our file and click on OK. And here, as you can see, it says my file has been recovered. So if you go back to the folder which you selected, here, as you can see, I have got my permanently deleted file. Now, if you still haven't found your files, then let's take a look at some of the best premium tools which are available. For example, Ease US Data Recovery, Disk Drill, and Stellar Data Recovery. These are some of the top paid recovery softwares. Now, most of these offer a free scan and file preview so you can confirm your file is recoverable before paying. Now, if none of these tools work and the data is extremely important, like legal files, financial data, or client projects, then consider using a professional data recovery service. Now, what do they do? They use clean room environments to retrieve data from physically damaged or corrupted drives, support SSDs, HDDs, USBs, and more. The cost can range from $100 to $1,000 depending on the damage and urgency. 
And well, that's a wrap. You now know how to recover permanently deleted files from your Windows PC. Whether it's a Word doc, a video or that one photo you thought was gone forever. Now, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to PC Tips Pro for more tech tutorials every week. And if you have any questions regarding this video, please make sure to put them in the comments box. Thank you and have a nice day.